Hi, welcome to Techverse. So, in this episode, let's talk about how you can make a general purpose inverter with the capacity of 500 watts to 1000 watts. So, the final build is as shown in this 3D view. I've designed the circuit using Proteus computer aided design. It's a very good software for designing electronic circuits and for simulation purposes. So, the IC is the TL494. I'll show you the schematics in a brief moment. So the input goes here 12 volts and here's the output 120 volts or 240 volts as your desire. The PCB is rather simple as shown here. And the circuit is as shown. So connect everything as follows. So 12 and 7 are the power pins of the IC. Pull down the dead time control pin 4 to ground to ensure the then time is minimum, 3% by default. Then you need to disassemble the error amplifiers by connecting the non inverting terminals pin 16 and 1 to ground and the inverting terminals pin 12, 15 to 5 volts generated by pin 14. Also pull up the output control pin 13 to 5 volts to ensure that the output is push pull rather than parallel mode. Then connect the feedback pin 3 to pin 2. So also include the current limiting resistance since the IC can source or sink a maximum of 200 amperes, 200 milliamperes, sorry. So for a sec, that is more than enough to power MOSFETs. So parallel to these MOSFETs, depending on the output power you need, just ensure that they can handle the current. For example, the IRF 3205, they can handle 100 amperes each. So if you parallel to of those, you can easily handle 200 amperes continuous drain source current as long as they are mounted on proper heat sinks. So that should give you even more than a thousand watts if you desire so. The resistors are 6 and R7. They are gate source distance resistors which ensure that the MOSFETs on each side they are completely turned off when not being powered. So to power the MOSFETs, the open emitters E1 and E2 are connected to the gates. So and since the IC is operating in push-pull mode, when E1 is high, Q1 and Q3 will conduct and current will flow through the positive power supply through one half of the primary winding through the MOSFETs and to ground. When E2 turns on, current will flow through the other way, the other half winding of the primary through the MOSFETs Q2 and Q4 and to ground. So the transformer core is reset in each cycle since it's push pull. So and the output will have a nice square wave which can be is to power most electronic devices which are not sensitive to square wave or modified square wave AC signals. So the frequency is determined by C2 and R1 and the formula is as shown here. You can select any parameters you want for any desired frequency. If you use the parameters I have indicated of 100 nanofarads and 100 kilo ohms, the frequency is about 50 Hz, which is the standard for many countries. So the transformer you can use one from an old microwave or welding machine since they have the current capacity to handle more than 500 amperes or even a thousand amp uh, or even a thousand watts just modify the and make your own primary windings until you get the desired output voltage so that's all about this inverter circuit and project don't forget to drop a like comment if you have any suggestions or queries and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing projects and tutorials. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a nice time.